Do I know if this will be on Games Pass? Probably not. Death Sweep, and is that a Vampiric Axe? It is. Chance to heal the wielder uh, with the life force of a slain foe. Rad. Um, It might end up on the Games Pass now that I'm thinking about it, but most Evolver games, I don't think they will. I don't think this one's going to be. Um, The thing is, uh, the Games Pass is a great... Uh, is a great thing for games that might not sell well, you know, have exposure issues or something. Ow. But I will say, most primary, like, Devolver published games probably aren't going to have that kind of limitation. Um. Now, it might end up on Games Pass eventually, but I, I don't think Devolver really does any of that. Ooh! Gift from below plus, 20% chance of gaining a temp heart. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, I actually can't think of a whole lot of Devolver games that have ended up in um, Humble Bundles or on PlayStation Plus. It's Boner Man. I'm being a little... Oh, we got a temp heart out of that one. And that guy actually had retaliatory poison uh, below him. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't think Devolver does games pass. I don't think Devolver does uh, Humble Bundles much. I don't think they do PlayStation Plus either. So I think this is going to be one of those games that you actually have to buy. Which, like, is a shame, but doesn't surprise me too much. Please don't hurt us. We're simple followers lost in an unfamiliar place. The great Sozo sent us to find more of his beloved menticide mushrooms. He only cares for mushrooms. His madness grows. But when we arrived, we realized we don't know how to find menticide mushrooms. And now we are too afraid to return empty-handed. You to bring him menticide mushrooms. He would certainly reward you. You'll find him at the Spore Grotto. We are able to continue crusading after opening the doors at a forced battle. Um... I just want your stuff. Well, flee before me. It matters not. Draw a tarot card. Uh, fervor. Fervor. We'll go for the fervor. Uh, let's see. A Devolver is becoming one of the best publishers. Currently, I would actually go so far as to say Devolver is probably one of the, one of the best, if not the best indie game publisher on the market. There's a couple of uh, there's a couple of competitors. Five points to pentagram, five portents of doom, five siblings stood abreast, five gods and one tomb. Sham Shamura, we did not wish to bother you, but... Shamura, the red crown grows stronger by the day. Already it has succeeded where he has failed before. Leshy has been slain. Five becomes four, becomes three, becomes two, becomes one, becomes nothing. Shamura, rest. We will deal with this, won't we, Calamar? Yes. Yes, sister. Of course, sister. To do my lie. You there. Vessel of the Red Crown, bow to me or you'll regret it, refuse. You will bow or I will make you. Hell yeah. I bow for no man. Or frog. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of indie publishers that have been pretty solid so far. Uh, Devolver is a great one. Raw Fury is all equally fantastic. Um, I'm trying to think of some other good examples of, like, big indie publishers. There's a handful. Let's see, Annapurna seems to release very strong games. Yeah, I will say Annapurna is not necessarily the best when it comes to treating their devs. Uh, there was a, there was an expose from like a couple months ago. Oh shit, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, there was an expose a couple months ago talking about the uh, the developers of Whatham, Florence, I think it was, and a couple other things. But effectively, uh, yeah, yeah, people make games that done an expose on Annapurna, talking about how Annapurna would specifically. Um, be aware of, like, 
the leaders of their studios. Follower har harvest bonus resources. Nice. Um, so, you know, somebody in the upper management, one of these indie studios would be causing problems and wanting to resolve it, uh, go this direction. Wanting to resolve it, the, uh, the developers would try and reach out to Annapurna to kind of step in and say like, hey, this person, you know, this person leading the studio is causing issues. Uh, and like, you know, is not leading the studio well. Can you step in since you're a publisher? And more or less Annapurna uh, pushed for, uh, more or less kind of buried it. And none of it was quite as bad as like what happened with Blizzard, Vampiric Gauntlet, or Point of Corruption. The sweep actually seems pretty solid. Oh, you can recycle those. I Somebody had mentioned like, hey, maybe you can recycle them. Or like, what happens if you recycle them? And I just like forgot to test it because I don't, I don't look at UI as much as I should. Um, but so Annapurna was kind of pushing for auteurship, uh, effectively saying, you know, these people are uh, leading the studios are more valuable than their misbehaviors. And stuff like that. And just sweeping things under the rug. So, I don't think they did anything terribly, truly wrong. Ooh, attack speed up. Nice. That's nice with this. You know, like, Blizzard and Kodak, like, actually evil. This is just apathy uh, leading to evil, question mark. Um, and so, I guess part of it is, it's... Well, we took damage, and it didn't matter. Those little summon frogs are rough on my whole axe business. Uh, I guess the cautionary tale on this is, even if a person or a developer uh, publishes, like, great games, a uh, per person, developer, uh, or publisher, you know, is responsible for great games, they're not always great people, and so, like, thus far, Devolver Digital, for example, has been um, freaking ethical in the best possible way. Same thing with uh, same thing with like Raw Fury. Annapurna needs work. Ubisoft and Blizzard are definitely like scum. EA is messy and whatever. Hoodie is dead. No, no, I think I think Hoodie just became old, but I could be wrong. There we go, that was nice and quick. As long as the game is done and no crimes are committed, we don't care. I care a lot, personally. Like, if I if I know a person running a studio is a dirtbag, I will try not to cover their game. Uh, just because it makes me feel weird about it. See, Valve is evil, too. I haven't actually heard any expose on that one. So I'm not sure about that. But you've also been having some, like, weird hot takes all day, so I super... Uh, need some sources on that one because I I know Valve has its issues, but uh, Let's see What do we grab uh, fish or bonus hearts fish always fish Grab these like I, I know Valve's biggest issues mostly boil down to uh, Not sticking to a project but I've never heard of them like sweeping misbehavior under the rug oh, I think Valifar and Hootie have been mixed up by the game okay L forces their employees to sign contracts forbidding them from speaking about what they do years after uh, I mean that's like super industry standard to some degree I, I, I've signed multiple non-disparagement clauses. They're not necessarily the most, um, ironclad. But, like, if that's the worst they've done, I don't know. Hard to care. Compared to, like, actual things, that's just kind of scummy, but not surprising. I knew some people that worked for Amazon that straight up signed away their ability to work on independent pro projects. 
And like, that's always fe felt scummy to me, but it's not like I'm going to specifically be like, boycott Amazon because of that. No, I'll say it because of other things instead. Aha. There we go. And what do we get, tarot card? Okay, 10% chance to crit, perfect. The Disney also has it, so any idea you come up with while working there, uh, they own. Yep, a lot of big companies do that. I That is honestly probably one of the scummiest things ever. Uh, as a creative, you know, if, if a company I was working for said, I know you made this webcomic entirely on your own time, but... Uh, You know, because you made it on your own time, it still belongs to us. Uh, so, like, Rooster Teeth did that, specifically to Ray Navarez, uh, which is part of the reason why he left. Because he started streaming and they more or less said, like, give us your Twitch channel because we we de facto own it. And that was super, super crummy. Like, I like Rooster Teeth a fair bit, but that was, that was weird gross and not a good way. But I mean, they lost Ray in the process, so I don't know. I guess. Eh. There we go. I don't like these frogs that much. They're not hella bad, but they're awkward to fight. Maybe losing maximum HP here. And we can't do anything about that, but still. Lost everyone except for Gavin and Gus from the original. Uh, is Mike, Michael not there anymore? I will admit I haven't lost, uh, we know, and Jack's still there. At least, unless I'm mistaken. Okay, paths. Fair. He's taking a backseat since he has three kids now. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. But I think the organization has also expanded dramatically. But he's still kind of with. Like it's it's mostly just what uh, Ray and Ryan that have like truly departed. Like Jeff is still kind of there. I think unless he's not there anymore. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't actually paid any attention to uh, Rooster Teeth for quite some time. Okay, what is this? Maelstrom. Tentacles in four directions or touch of Tura. Is this a weapon? I have to try it. No. Yeah, that sounds rad. And we just recycle it for a coin. I'll take it. Yeah, tentacles or more tentacles. Boy, if you call them tenties, it's weird. It's like uh, the old, the age-old kind of meme about chicken tenders being tendies. That was always just a little too weird for me. I don't think I know of anybody that referred to them legitimately that way, but just every time I heard it written out, I was just like, yeah, that's, that's freaking weird, man. I don't want my food to be referred to as tendies. Ugh. But yeah, it's a good it's a good thing why Ryan is no longer with them. Frustratingly, he was my favorite member, but you know, good riddance. Unfortunately, it's kind of one of those where it's part of the reason why I haven't been back is that it feels wrong for a lot of reasons because I feel you have like, God dang it. I don't know. There's kind of like a weird, like, I don't want to call it like a residual guilt or embarrassment for liking the person that turned out to be a dirtbag. But it definitely feels that way. I had the same problem with like, uh, JonTron for a while, where I was like, man, I love his videos. Oh gosh, this guy is a problem. 
When down to half heart, all enemies take three damage. Yeah, it looks like my blessings are just better. And so it's kind of one of those where uh, certain shows and channels I just have trouble watching because they've they've changed in a way that like uh, I have difficulty emotionally connecting with them anymore because of a residual guilt or embarrassment because of, of past opinions? Question mark? I don't know. Oh, stunned him. Interesting. There we go. Oop. Uh, let's see, you can enjoy something that someone does without enjoying what they do outside of it. I firmly disagree. I think that is very much a L take, uh, because frankly, separating the art from the artist, as an artist, you can't. My products are me, and vice versa. And so it's one of those where, like, you can, you can say that, but ultimately when it comes down to it, that just means, uh, excusing somebody's piss poor behavior as, well, but the game they make is good, or the movie that they make is good, or the book that they write is good. Like... It's a very privileged pr perspective to say, whatever this person says or thinks or does, um... Doesn't affect me. But, like... You know, would you buy a book from a serial killer? Well, sure, he killed people, but... Um... You know, he writes damn good books. Yeah, it's why things get pushed under the rug, because it makes money or is successful. And I, I have a lot of problems with- oh god. Whoop. These boss fights have, uh, become more. Um. Okay, this might actually be some effort. I'll rant about topic after. God damn it. Yeah, the problem is this is a boss that is very good at clearing space. little difficult actually getting into him because half of his moves kind of push me away or make it difficult to get near okay, one more hit there we go got it wow frogman you were tough okay stone follower form absolutely crab 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 nope I don't know. I think I would not. If I know that the person whose book I wish to buy is a criminal, I would stay away from that stuff. So recently I was looking at apartments and we actually had to stop because the uh, the guy had previously been uh, arrested, jailed, fined, and some other things specifically for being a slumlord. And it was like $160 million and also two years in jail for him and his son or something like that or him and his brother. Uh, but he still owned all the properties and was still renting them out. And it's like, do I want to rent from this guy? And the answer is like, on a basic empirical level, like, hell no. Why the hell would I want to, you know, ever eat at a restaurant that, you know, gives people food poisoning on the regular or has been caught for uh, X or Y, like, weird, gross thing. Um, but I think I would, I would still very much apply that to quite a lot of stuff. Fertilizer silo, har harvest totem, what does this do? Ah, growth speed of all plot, uh, plots and range. Uh, janitor station would make sense. Prison would be interesting. I almost kind of want to go for the lumber yard. Yeah, let's go for this. Um, uh, but, 
Oh gosh. I mean, there's like a billion examples of this. Did we actually... Did somebody actually just pass away? I think they might have. Okay. Convert me to your cult. Uh, oh god, this guy sucks. Natural skeptic against sacrifice and faithless. Okay, you can worship. Uh, let's see. I guess you're just kind of vibing. Barbados seems to still be here, but yeah, it looks like Hootie became old and then died of old age. Which isn't terribly surprising. Okay. Let's see. Just because some people have a past doesn't mean that they, that you should always avoid them. Look at Iron Man. I mean, one, Iron Man's not a real person. Two, I don't actually think that Iron Man did a very good job over the course of uh, pretty much any media media that he's featured in uh, to atone. Sure, he fights, but the dude was, always had his head up his ass. Like, literally the most selfless, selfless thing he did was die. Kind of. I mean, he did a lot of other stuff, but a lot of it was still very much for his own ego and like resulted in some like pretty heinous shit uh because he never learned humility or anything like that but even beyond that oh you meant uh robert okay um hoodie was sacrificed wait they sacrificed him that's confusing um seeing as i'm not here to do it but weird and whatever um, but yeah, I think there's absolutely room for redemption when it comes down to it. But the thing is, a person actually has to repent and be seeking redemption to justify uh, getting it. Uh, easy, exa uh, easy example um, I can think of, well, I don't know. Um, like, I've, I've met and known some dirtbags over the years. And, like, one or two of them were just unrepentant dirtbags for whatever, but would still demand forgiveness. Uh... And it was, it was really off-putting constantly because it was one of those where uh, they'd, they'd do something heinous and be like, yeah, but you have to forgive me, you know. I, I'm sorry for what I've done. And it's like, okay, fine. I forgive you, you know, this time, but don't do it again. And then almost immediately, you know, next time I saw them, they were doing X or Y thing again. Um, and so it's, it's one of those where it's easy to say, like, give a person a chance of forgiveness, and that's fine. But you can't just hand wave it away as, well, sure, they were problematic in the past, but now they're not. But the answer is, oftentimes, they still are. And so, while forgiveness is important, a person has to obviously, um, obviously want to repent. Yeah, forgiveness is er earned, not deserved automatically, and cannot be demanded. Um, okay, so let's do a r ritual. Oh, shoot, I should have done a feast. Well, I guess I can't. Who is even left? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we sacrificed Hootie. Who's the, uh... Who's the other person? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's do a sermon. Uh, let's see. Can we get the next one, or can we get Hearts of the Faithful? Permanently gain half a heart. Hell yeah. I feel like some things are unforgivable. I think it depends. Um, I mean, obviously, yeah, a lot of a lot of crime things are kind of unforgivable in a bad way. Uh, let's see. Do we have doctrine stuff? We might. No, I do not have any of these. And yeah, no rituals. B boy, that feast ritual. We definitely need the uh, reduced ritual cooldown thing. Okay, a couple people are still hungry. Uh, let's see. And we don't have any... We don't have any upgrades that I can buy. Okay, so what is... What does the missionary do? Followers on a holy quest for resources. Demonic summoning circle. Huh. Possess a follower with the spirit of a demon so they can join you on the next one. Oh, that sounds interesting. Let's see. Healing Bay Janitor Station. Shrine Flame. Harvest more devotion. Draw forth more devotion. Confession Booth. Your followers' confession increase their loyalty. Can be used once per day. Requires a prison and some other stuff. So I think I might want to actually snag the, the prison 
and the confession booth. Oh. Oh, but so far, none of my people have died, so I don't think we need to worry about that in the same way. I'm gonna save. Okay, cool. Uh, Cult of the Lamb Twitch integration. Viewers can spend channel points which fill up your totem Twitch totem bar. When it's filled, you receive a reward. Help or hinder events will automatic happen automatically, allow your viewers to vote on either giving you a bonus or punishing you. Allow viewers to enter a raffle to create the next follower. Oh, interesting. Uh, so I can let you guys design the next one. Oh boy, those little pop-ups are going to be a little... I don't know. We'll see how those go. And that's on like a minute-long cooldown. That's going to be happening, happening somewhat often, but is what it is. I'm curious about the totem contributions and if those actually let me unlock new things. Because if so, that's nice. But yeah, contribution seems to be on a first-come, first-served basis. Let's go to the Spore Grotto, finish this off, and then I'll go talk about things. Um. Hi. Okay. Cards, cards, cards. Okay, more damage at night. Rolling into an enemy damages them. I like it. Movement speed. Let's grab the movement speed one. I'll probably pick up every card just because, but that one is actually really helpful. Rolling into enemies sounds kind of amusing, but hard to care that much. Okay, and that's all decoration. So what about this guy? Greetings, traveler. Me, why, I'm Sozo, of course, researcher of all things mushrooms. I guess that makes me a fun guy. Just a little joke that Sozo likes to tell. Yes, yes, mushrooms. Mushrooms are Sozo's passion. But Sozo needs more. Sozo always needs more. So, will collect for Sozo, yes? Yes, Sozo can't trust my followers out there. They lie, they steal, they whisper secrets about Sozo. I just know it. Sozo will do anything. I will worship at your altar. Sozo will devote myself to your head or your cause. I will rip your rip off your head. Ahem. Sozo will show you how to use the power of mushrooms to open the fragile little minds of your followers. But do you do not need to use it on Sozo. Oh no, Sozo will follow willingly as long as you keep bringing Sozo mushrooms. Sozo will do anything. Take the path to Anura and find Sozo mushrooms. You may not have seen them before, but now you now that you seek them, they will be there for you now. Sweet. Okay, so now we've got hella mushrooms, and we can't do anything else. But, solid quest. Okay, so, uh, let's roll back. Uh, maybe chuck a little bit of food in. And then we can do another run. Okay, uh, let's see. Food, 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 everybody's sleepy, but that's fine. I'll just make four. Hopefully food on the ground doesn't just rot. I wonder if the spiders will actually, like, cause problems. Because they, they might? Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll just leave it there. Oh, bed is collapsed, and Flock is ready for another sermon. Okay, well, holy smokes. Okay, I need to, I need to tend to this place a little bit better. Okay, and we're good. Anything else to say about any of this? Right, we got some mushrooms, which we got the seeds for. So there's the menticide mushrooms that the guy wants. Uh, and boy, I have a lot of ment uh, mushroom seeds. Oh, what's he want? Glorious leader, the base is an the base is an eyesore. We need beauty and to celebrate glory. Let us build decorations in your honor. Build three decorations. Okay. My faith is shaken, I can see through your lies. You are a fraud, I must tell the others. What? Oh. It's because I didn't finish the quest fast enough. Well, that's frustrating. I didn't realize there was a time limit on those. Freaking kind of rough questing is a bugged out and he, he wanted me to kill somebody. Okay, re-educate him. Yeah, so we are going to need the, the stockades, though. Uh, we could also just kill him. That is that is also the other option. Okay, I'm going to... Seeing as we have enough, yeah. Let's fill this out. 
I probably should not have put that there, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, uh, so. And everybody's slightly grumpy. Oh, faith is low. Yeah. People are mad and I need to increase my faith. I guess failing a quest is pretty painful and having a dissenter uh, is harming it pretty bad. Excuse me, sir. Okay, I've already done that. Give a gift? Hmm. Wow, everybody is upset. Okay, we've already done Gushin. Oh, did I did I interrupt? I have no idea. It's rough when failing a quest and refusing it both greatly dump your loyalty. Oh, no, not him. At least the daily blessings do help. But yeah, if it if it hadn't bugged out, it wouldn't wouldn't have been a problem in the slightest. At least faith's going back up. Okay, so now let's go back over here. Uh, so we've given some blessings. Next up is a sermon. Okay, and then, do we have anything here? No. Doctrine? Oh, this just is telling me about this. Oh, uh, the other one is rituals. Do we have any off cooldown? Just the resurrection one, but that hurts faith. Okay, still, faith is in a better spot except for this guy. Uh, ugh. That should be a bunch, maybe? It is a bunch. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna stick it out. We're gonna go uh, to the beach. We're gonna go get the prison stockades. Uh, let's see. There should be some faith in here still. Not much, not as much as I was banking on, to be honest. Well, I could do fish stuff. Let's, uh, oh, let's do the quest, actually. No, I'm thinking about it. Okay, so, question is, what about people like HP Lovecraft, in terms of separating her from the others? I really need to do, do, like, a video essay on this, just so I can just link, point to the video, instead of having to repeat my opinions every single time. So, it really is kind of a sliding scale in the question of things. Personally, I like Eldritch Horror. I have zero interest in... Uh, the Cthulhu mythos as, um, as Lovecraft, or the Lovecraft created, I guess? Uh, put some leafy lanterns there. Because it's one of those where it's like, I think there are some interesting ideas, but ultimately, whenever I, I like, regardless of what he had done, you know, the, or what he had done, what he had thought, you know, when it boils down to it, it feels weird to have people so reverent of the originator of this thing that, you know, is okay. Uh, but isn't that important? But even beyond that, yeah, it's better to kind of move on. You know, keep Eldritch Horror as, like, a genre because I think it's interesting. Um, but, like, if you do have to do... Uh, oh, right. We wanted the prison stockades. Old naughty followers. There we go. Um, let's see. So let's get this set up. Oh, I need lumber. I need three lumber. How do I get three lumber? If I dig this up, do I get three lumber? I get one. Is there another way? To get more, because I'd rather wait. Oh, did did we actually research the lumber camp? 
We did, but I bet it's going to require some lumber. Lumber yard requires lumber. Shoot. Oh, they died of old age. Well, shoot. Now oh, that cost me some lumber. Okay. Prepare for burial. Okay. Corpses are not good for sanitation. Need to bury the body. It's also a lot of weight to... Uh, Nah. We're going to prepare them for, for burial for the time being. So I think I'm going to have to do a run, and hopefully Barbados doesn't just bail on us. Okay. Bury body. Okay, right. The other thing I was going to do very quickly is we want to finish that final decoration. Uh, Weeping Shrine. Looks rad, actually. Here, I'm gonna put it down here. This is gonna be our graveyard spot. Okay. Um, but yeah, I... It's... Okay, so with separating the art and the artist and, like, a bunch of other things, uh... There, like, it is a sliding scale. You can't exactly just do it as a collect reward from Velafar. Perfect. I knew you could do it. You are divine. Ooh, that's good. And we might have a Twitch blessing. Wood, 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 Damn it. Oh, get some devotion. I'll take it. Not a devotion. We get a person. I'll take a person. Please spare me. Okay, follower raffle. Start raffle. I don't know. More so when I think about uh, art artists and so on and so forth. Good. He's not terrible. Um, when I'm thinking about separating the art and the artist, Harry Potter is probably the, uh, the easiest thing I can think of when it comes down to it. Of, like, Harry Potter is one of those theories I know people are deeply... Uh, deeply connected to and love, love dearly. Okay, we gotta go get some wood. Um, I don't know what's gonna be faster. We're just gonna do this. Don't know if he was racist or if he had low contact with people of different race. Doesn't matter. Like, regardless of your situation, uh, if you have low contact with somebody of a, of like other ethnicities, you just end up having no opinion. Uh, or you should have no opinion. If you have a negative opinion because you have low contact with something, that all that means is that you are closed-minded. And easily will hate somebody that it, you perceive as other. Okay. I do not like the foreground elements on this level. It is messing with me. I think I have a vampiric dagger, which is a plus at least. Um, but I, I am 99% certain that man was uh, quite racist and had other issues. And so it's like, you can blame it for all you want, but ultimately, you are who you choose to be in life. And if you choose to be a terrible person or have terrible opinions, you know, yeah, you can blame some of the environment, but only so much. Uh, that kind of I have the expectation of most people to try and at least be good with how they how they look and feel, and that I feel like most people should at least have the the judgment qualities to kind of make uh, make up their own minds on certain things. Kind of. I mean, there are there are definitely. Uh, Side kind of exceptions. I was reading a thing about uh, people in cults and how it's very common in cults to deny uh, uh, deny prospective members protein. Because uh, apparently if you don't give a person a whole lot of protein they will straight up uh, like lose their ability to think critically and a bunch of other things. 
Uh, let's see. That's not how it works. If you don't have contact, you assume they're worse. Nope. I disagree. Uh, I grew up straight up. Uh, I'm not going to name ethnicities, but like growing up, I did not have a con have contact with several different ethnicities, period. Uh, like I did not see. Uh, uh, I did not see certain uh, certain certain ethnic groups until I was a teenager, uh, just due to quirk of where I was living. And you know what? I wasn't racist. I didn't have any preconceived notions because I realized that that's not a good thing. Now I realize you can be you can be raised in an environment where you somehow then think hating this other group of people. Oh, that was loot and stuff. Uh, uh, let's see. Quick's a slightly related question. Do you say trans rights? Absolutely. Trans trans rights are human rights. They are they are people. They they should be allowed to love who they want. I mean, obviously you have slight exceptions of like you know. Uh, oh gosh, I hate saying the word, but you know, uh, being attracted to children. Hi, shell. What is up? It's it's a dire topic, but it's one of those that um, uh, oh sorry love I was thinking LGBTQ with love who they want trans can be who they want the words and things shells uh, shells making sure I'm saying this correctly um, yeah bias can still take effect but it's still one of those where like I don't know I I guess I'm. I'm going to say outright that I think people still have a responsibility to self-examine their beliefs and ideas and and question themselves on whether or not it's good and moral. Um, and yeah, human rights should not be politicized. Yup. Uh, let's see. Poison damage. Extra fervor? Yeah. Trans people can be who they want, just don't push that on other people. Wait, the opinion that trans people should be who they want, or pushing trans on other people? Because that's a myth. Like, I, I know people that are afraid, like, oh, the trans people are trying to make other kids trans. It's like, that's not it. Same thing with the whole, like, uh, freaking Florida thing. Where it's like, you can't show the fact that gay people exist. And it's like, nope. Get out of here with that. That's, you know, that's just, uh... I do want to go this way for fruit and veg. Yeah, let's go this direction. But, you know, I've been around a lot of people who are LGBTQ and they are nothing but respectful. Okay, you're gone. I I have no interest in these talking talking points you're chucking around. I don't care if you've been around for a while. Um but why are they teaching about sexual orientations? They're not. They're just saying that they exist. You absolute goon. They're teaching those people that these orientations exist because they do. Because they're normal. The only way that that argument works is if you specifically disallow children from ever seeing anybody in a relationship straight, LGBTQ, or otherwise. And the only way that that even makes any remote sense is if you lock kids in a closet and teach them whatever closed-minded opinions that you come up with and just assume that, you know, somehow they're going to come out fine. They're not. They're going to end up screwed up, hateful, awful little people because most of the people that sincerely believe that, oh, you're just indoctrinating them, grooming and whatnot. No, it's not. You're just trying to... You're just mad because... A wider worldview makes people less hateful and less susceptible to being hateful, awful little gremlin people. I'm really mad about this. This is this is something that I interact with more than I care to admit, and it's a hot button for me. Okay. But yeah. So, anyway. I have no interest in anybody trying to say that trans anyone is uh, trans people are trying to indoctrinate people because that is literally nothing that happens ever and anybody that believes that watches too much damn Fox News or something yeah, every accusation is a confession LGBTQ don't force others to not be themselves but people that accuse them do yup 
when I was in, uh, when I still went to church, uh, I was in a youth group. I've definitely told this story before. Um, but, uh, there was a meeting and the meeting was about, well, kids aren't showing up to youth group. Uh, how do we, you know, convince them to go? And one of the, uh, oops, ow, I'm taking some damage. Uh, one of the adults at the meeting who, his kid literally never went to camp. Wow, this thing freaking books it. Uh, his, his kid never, ever went to uh, Bible study, never went to uh, any of the events, never did any youth group things. And this man sat there with a, a smug, self-righteous expression and said, well, we just need to force the kids to go. As though that made any freaking sense. And it was weird because it's just like, well, why is your kid not going? You know, if you're suggesting this. And he legitimately was like actively pushing for all of the other adults to uh, to start forcing their kids to go to this camp, despite the fact that this guy wasn't going to make his own son do it. Um, and was quite offended when nobody liked his idea because it's awful and stupid. And, you know, kind of my entire life, you see all these people pushing their beliefs on others as though it's normal and right, and then assuming that that's what everybody else does just because of its existence and presence. Ooh, Hounds of Fate. I like that, but we want the Apostate's Cleaver. Okay. Uh, let's go up to this. I feel like I'm going to be banning a bunch of people in the comment section for this, but honestly, you know what? It's worth it. I have no interest in an open dialogue with certain people anymore. I've lost that. They can listen if they want to, but I don't want to talk back. Uh, I don't want to hear what they have to say, <laughs> which I realize is like close minded or something, but it's not. Okay, are you going to pop up or are you just going to kind of hang there? Holy shit, this guy just does not want to... Can I, like, cancel this? No. Wow. Uh, let's see. But I, I guess one last personal anecdote on this topic uh, is very specifically... Um, uh, what was it? Uh, okay. One of my cousins is uh, is a lesbian, married uh, her longtime girlfriend. Like I think they met when they were teenagers, and stayed in contact uh, kind of to and uh, like throughout high school and college. Oh, I should not have hit that tree. I think I got less lumber for it, but that's fine. Um, but so she married her wife. You know. At like the age of 38, you know, almost, what, 20, 20 years after they had met? And like the entire time she was terrified of her family, like judging her poorly for it now. Um, and uh, she was right uh, to some degree that my extended family did not take well to it. And half of my relatives refused to talk to her. Or if they do talk to her, it's not nice. Uh, her own brother specifically actually has cut off the entire family for not being religious enough, which, you know, that's its own thing. Okay, let's see if I can kill the wizard. Seeing as he's got ranged attacks aplenty. Um, but like, one of my aunts was actually planning on crashing the wedding and, and trying to pray away the gate during the ceremony, which, uh, yeah, that's not... That's not great. Uh, and some other things. And it's it's one of those where, like, so many of these people think that LGBTQ has some kind of weird agenda. Where, it, in reality, the agenda is wanting to live a normal life, get married to who they want to get married to, and not have to worry about some busybody weirdo uh, crashing their, you know, their weddings or their life. For a lot of reasons. Hey, thank you, uh, Aerolis. For the three-month resub. Yeah, the agenda is to be themselves. I think that is actually a threat to some people. The idea of... Of... Um, let's see. Flaming Shot, Death Sweep. 
Vampiric Gauntlet. I'm not big on the gauntlets. Uh, let's grab Death Sweep. Um, but yeah, well, oh, right. Is the, no, the gauntlet's back here. I want to recycle this. There we go. Seems strange that people care what part goes where and whatnot. I, I've met a lot of these people over the years and they often have very little to do. And so it's easier for them on like a life and a personal basis to uh, try and get involved in other people's life in a negative way. Because it makes them feel better about themselves because they, you know, oftentimes I've noticed Maybe it's just like uh, certain groups or generations or whatnot, but it felt like a lot of people kind of were taught to sacrifice much of their identity or personality or like passions in favor of this, that, or the other thing. Oops. I should not be here. I can push them around. I don't think it's as good as actually just hitting them, unfortunately. Oh yeah, it is Barbados. Huh. That's interesting. It's probably just a, another Barbados, but it'd be interesting if my own dude came back and I could, like, re-recruit him. For smacking him around. Uh, let's see. What was I going to say? I don't know. Talking about busy bodies and negative stuff and whatever. But no, I, I think it's mostly just... A lot of people feel like they don't have much uh, much self-esteem um, or like purpose in life without actually just bullying or harming other folks and that by putting themselves on a greater pedestal they feel like they are better somehow uh, even though they're not actually putting themselves on a pedestal they're just digging a hole and jamming somebody in it It's kind of the reason why, like, bullying, for example, works. Uh, somebody described to me bullying is aggressive conformity. Uh, that you, people oftentimes will bully another person. Uh, let's see, we just need a shit ton of wood. I need other stuff, but we need wood. Um, but somebody will bully another person specifically outright. Um, let's see, we could fight the boss. But I think we're just going to go back to the cult. I'll come back in a little bit. Blame someone else for your own problems thing. No, so I, I think this is like actually a studied thing. I, uh, like I, there are a lot of reasons why bullying happens, but oftentimes, uh, oftentimes a bully is a person that specifically is really attached to the idea. Okay. Okay, let's do the blessing. Oh, did he just leave? Yeah, no. He's just bailing. That's rude, but it's fine. Quest failed. Oh, shit. Uh, shit's dire. Okay, let's fix this, because our faith is abysmal. Uh, first off, sermon. Oh, the discrimination thing. Eh. Okay, one Barbados is gone, another one is in. Necromantic weapons. Ooh! Summon dangerous ghosts from the dead. That's sick. I'll take it. And we can get access to the next one. Okay, so hopefully this snags us a bit of faith. But if it doesn't, we can uh, maybe do some other stuff. Okay, next up, rituals. Do we have anything else we can do? Hopefully, yes. Feeding ritual. Because my people, I'm sure, are hungry anyway. Ugh. Anyway, so the point of... Uh, Bullying to some lesser degree is finding uh, finding a person that you can perceive as pushing to the out group to make yourself seem as the in group And what you end up doing is reinforcing this this constant feeling of who's in and who's out which I think a lot of people really enjoy um, Just on a personal basis, but also just who Grave building two faith one followers grieve at the grave or natural burial building Corpses of the dead fallers may return to the earth, becoming fertilizer. I like the fertilizer one. Grave, grave of the fall, grave of the fallen is neat, but this potentially gets me less space. Um. Ah. 
Okay, I don't think we have anything else here. So let's snag this. Uh, well, we have faith now. Didn't lose too much, and we've got a couple of things to snag. I wonder what the Twitch icon is, seeing as that gets highlighted here and there. Alright. And snag all this stuff. Wow! Totems are already almost full again. Get some gold bits, and this doesn't have any. I think I just put that in the wrong spot. Now, do we actually have a new person? No, we do not. 